Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Dark Jack, and in this video, I'm going to explain what Microsoft needs to do to win the upcoming console war, and to ensure that the Xbox 720 is superior to the PlayStation 4. And after this video, I'm going to upload another one, explaining what the PS4 needs to do to win the console war. Now the first thing the next Xbox has to have is backwards compatibility. It has to be able to play every Xbox 360 game. That way people will not have to swap out their 360 and their 720 to be able to play their entire game library. And also, if it's backwards compatible, people will be able to trade in their 360 toward the purchase of a 720 at GameStop. And that will then increase the sale of the next generation Xbox. The second thing it has to have is it has to have a good price point. It needs to be under $400. I think a good price would be $399 because the economy is not exactly great right now. And when it picks up, more people will buy games and new consoles. So the price point is key. That's probably the most important thing is a low price. Also, they need to have multiple versions. They need to have one version with Connect and one ver version without Connect, where you can buy Connect uh, separately because if the Connect is included, that is going to drive up the price of the console. And that means that the 720 is probably going to be more expensive than the PS4 at launch because of the Connect add-on. Also, they need to have multiple different kinds of payment plans for paying in installments because not a lot of people are going to have the money to buy a brand new next generation Xbox with a brand new Connect. So that's going to be expensive, so they need to have a deal where you can pay for it in installments, which also comes with Xbox Live Gold. Also, they need to have no Red Ring of Death fiascos. It has to work perfectly. It has to last at least five to six years so that it has a long shelf life. They cannot afford to have the next Xbox having uh, hardware problems because if it does, people will leave in flocks to get a PS4 instead. And it cannot block used games. And if the, the new console blocks used games and borrowed games as well as rentals, that's going to alienate GameStop and GameStop may not even stock the console. And it's going to make a lot of gamers angry. And also, it cannot be always online. Because many people do not have reliable internet connections. And the infrastructure does not exist for always online. Because in many places, a slow DSL is the only thing that's available. And also, if it's always online, Microsoft servers cannot go down. Because if their servers go down, then the console will be a brick. You couldn't even play single player games if the servers aren't working right. And if one console is always online and blocks used games, while the other one doesn't, then the console that, that does not is going to have a huge advantage over the other one. And that console will, will win the console war. Also, the next Xbox has to have a large selection of exclusive games for when the console launch, launches. Because software sells hardware. And if you look at past trends, the PC was sold because of the game Myst. And people bought the Xbox 360 because of Halo 3 and people bought their original Xbox because of Halo. So it would be nice if Halo 5 was a launch title for the next Xbox, but it probably won't come out until a year after it comes out. And when you look at the Wii U, the reason why it did not sell well at launch because of it was because of weak exclusives. Because they, they only had Pikmin, they have they had a Mario game, and they had Zombie, and that's all they had for exclusives. And they need more exclusive titles. Because just having Halo and Gears of War is not going to cut it in the next generation. And right now, Microsoft is losing the console war when it comes to exclusive titles. Because this year, they only have Gears of War Judgment. Whereas the PS3 has Nino Kuni, they have The Last of Us, and they have God of War Ascension. As well as Beyond Two Souls, which is coming out in the fall. It would also be really nice if for the next Xbox they would include a year's worth of Xbox Live Gold with the purchase of a new console. That way, it would not be Xbox Live Gold would not be a barrier to purchasing it, and they need to add more features to Gold membership because right now it pays for multiplayer and it pays for all the apps and features. But for the PS3, you don't have to pay to play multiplayer, and that is hurting Microsoft. So they need to add more features to make Xbox Live Gold worth the purchase, and they have to have Blu-ray capabilities. It has to be able to play Blu-ray discs, which is something that has been confirmed. They also need to make it so that they can people can increase the size of their friends list so you can have over 100 friends because there's no reason why they can't do that now. The original reason why you can only have 100 friends is because original Xbox games do not support more than 100, but because they've shut down the servers,
for the original Xbox, that should not be a problem anymore. Also, they need to retain every great feature that Xbox Live has now. Party chat, cross game chat, all the apps, the internet browser, and the YouTube browser. And they need to add a, add a lot more. Also, they need to make, make Netflix free without a Xbox Live Gold subs subscription. Because people who have a Netflix subscription will just use their computer instead of the, the Xbox. And then also they need to make the controls fully customizable for every game. So you, instead of having to rely upon pre-built control schemes, you can create your own for every game. And then when Halo 5 comes out, they need to make it so that Halo 5 is a big, big of improvement over Halo 2 that Halo 3 was. And so they need to make it so that when you compare Halo 3 or Halo 4 with Halo 5, there's no comparison. They need to get back to making Halo be Halo. They need to get rid of the stupid DLC achievements because I'm sick of having my 100% taken away from me because of stupid achievements. They need to make good achievements that everyone can get. And also they need to keep Call of Duty as a timed exclusive for DLC. That way people will continue to buy the Xbox for Call of Duty. And they need to make it so that they have great launch exclusives and they need to have a low cost. Those are the two keys. Having great exclusives and having a low cost. Those are the two things that will determine whether or not Microsoft will win the console war. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys later.